As recently as December, the U.S. and Mexico seem to agree on tackling the root causes of illegal immigration from Central America. But now Donald Trump has gone back on that commitment by cutting hundreds of millions of dollars in aid to Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador, the latest in a series of abrupt and unexpected policy changes that are coming to define his presidency. And I stopped paying almost $600 million to those three countries. Now I got a lot of heat. The Democrats say, how dare you do that? In 2017, those three countries known as the Northern Triangle received more than half a billion dollars from the U.S. Guatemala got 248 million, Honduras received 175 million, and El Salvador, 115 million. Much of the money went to organizations working to create better economic and security conditions so that fewer people would migrate north. Former President Barack Obama convinced a Republican-controlled Congress in 2014 to double aid to the region. Five years later, Trump has decided it's not worth the investment. That money is used for all these good, but no, it's not. It's largely stolen. Now, if the government wanted to, I have a feeling they'd be able to stop caravans from forming in those three countries. I have a feeling. While the development programs were geared for long-term results, there's evidence some were already working. Homicide rates in El Salvador dropped more than 60% in areas where the agency, USAID, operates. USAID support to Guatemala's court system is linked to a rise in convictions for extortion. And since 2011, US-sponsored agriculture investments has helped pull nearly 18,000 families in Honduras out of extreme poverty. Despite that, attempted crossings at the U.S.-Mexico border have surged this year. If current rates are sustained, this year's total will get close to the historic peak in 2001 at 1.6 million attempted crossings. The Trump administration also wants to speed up the forced return of asylum seekers to their home countries by as much as five times the current rate. Critics say summarily rejecting asylum seekers is undermining any moral authority the U.S. might have in pressuring other countries to uphold human rights. Meanwhile, thousands of migrants, many from Central America, are being held in U.S. detention facilities. They're being kept behind cages and in tents. This is no condition to keep families um, and babies and the rhetoric that's being spread about these families um, is completely untrue and it's inhumane. And as another caravan heads north, they're appealing for help, perhaps not to the U.S. government, but to its people, in the hope that Trump is underestimating Americans' compassion for those who need asylum in a country that calls itself the land of the free. Randolph Nogle, The Newsmakers.